Hello, P2 boys and girls. Now today for health and well-being, we are going to talk about mental well-being and what that means. Okay, you may have also heard the term mental health. Mental well-being and mental health are the same thing. Those two terms are just used interchangeably. Now, often we hear about mental well-being being talked about in the sense of an illness through um, TV shows or commercials, in school, the doctor's office, or even in conversations with our family and our friends. Now, having a mental illness is not a bad thing at all. It is simply when a person's brain and heart are feeling quite negative a lot of the time. Now, there are many people in our world who struggle with positive mental well-being because they have a specific mental illness. People who have mental illnesses try to seek help from doctors, family, and friends to manage and cope with that mental illness. People cannot always control whether they develop a mental illness or not, but there are things that we can do now to help build positive mental well-being for ourselves and others. And it starts with knowing what mental well-being is and what it looks like in each of us individually. So in P2, and for the next few weeks, we are going to work on building our positive mental well-being through a number of activities. And as we work through them, it would be so great if you could share them with your family members, maybe your siblings, to help them build their positive mental well-being too. Okay, so on the next link, I'm going to walk you through a PowerPoint presentation. And all you have to do is listen follow along and participate in the tasks and activities that I ask you to do throughout the presentation. Once you hear that I've stopped talking or you've completed a task that I asked you to do, then you can click to move on to the next frame or the next slide. Try not to go too fast because I don't want you to miss anything throughout the presentation. Okay, so good luck and I'll see you there.